In this video, we are going to focus on identities. You will find this on page 32 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Identities. This is the sign. An identity is an equation where both sides of the identity symbol represent the same expression in different forms. And it's true for all values of x. For example, if it's like this, the two sides will be equal for all values of x. We can use the principle of equating the coefficients of like terms in order to find the unknown coefficients. This principle can only be used if we know that two expressions are identical. When working with identities, do not move terms from one side to another. Very important. Both sides are simplified independently until they are in the same form. So let's just look. This is basic ones. Okay, so um, there's two methods doing this one. I can multiply this out. just want to make it a bit bigger. I can multiply this out, okay, and then I start, okay, 2, 2 in front of x squared, then in front of x, so 20 equals 4a, and 60 equals this, then I get a is 5, and then I just substitute it in there to get the value of b, or I can make, complete the square, because this is completing the square, I can complete the square of this side, did you see I did it there, and then according to that, I will also see that the value of a, what is the value of a? 5. And the value of b, what is the value of b? The value of b is 10. Okay. I want you to stop the video. And I want you to do number 5. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's just make it smaller. Okay, let's start. Number five. I'm first going to write it down. So, and it's just, it's a very basic one. I just really want to show you the simple ones first. And then we will go to the more complicated ones. Okay, so first I'm just going to multiply out this. So if I multiply this out, um, I think I keep too white first. So this is going to be x to the power of 4. This is going to be minus 2x uh, squared minus 4x plus ax3 minus 2ax minus a. Okay, let's just first go come to my like terms. Uh, this x3, I think this is like with this, and this is on its own. Okay, so let's re rewrite it. x4, and there's the ax3, always in descending order of the x, the exponents. Okay, and then uh, let's just see this. I prefer putting a positive, and then negative 4, minus 2a, and I take x out as a common factor, and what is left minus 4a, and then 1, 2, 3, okay, so therefore, now compare, this is 1, this is 1. Okay, so if I'm looking at this one, I am going to see that A is equal to B. It seems to me like that. Okay. So if I'm looking at this one, A is equal to B. Okay, I'm going to use another color. This one, mm, it's in front of, okay, that was 3. 
Was this one is square? Ah, uh, okay. I see what I did. This one I skipped. Did you see that? Okay, so just let's just redo this part. Um, because this X, actually it's just that one. Okay. Luckily it was still not there. I picked it up now. Okay, so let's see if we can squeeze it in. Okay, so it was minus 2x squared. And then a plus. Okay, so now if I look at that, I see that negative 2 and negative 2. And now I can, this green is equal to this. So luckily I picked it up. So negative 4 minus 2a is equal to negative 6. And then the last one without an x. So negative 4a is equal to c. Okay, and now I'm going to start. I'm going to see um, a is equal to b. Let's first start with the green. Because there's only one variable in. So negative 2a equals negative 6 plus 4. So negative 2a equals negative 2. So therefore, if I divide by, it's just 1. So now I can say that if this is 1, so 1 equals b. And now I can substitute in here in my red. So negative 4, 1 equals c. So therefore, C is equal to negative 4. Okay, so I can end up by saying, therefore, A is equal to 1, B is equal to 1, and C is equal to negative 4. And that's my final answer.